And the five's going to chase him in, to your point, Jeff. He cannot allow the 12 to get a lap. Look at the five gain to the rear bumper. Oh, of the, 12. Oh, oh. And the five into the water. The barrier's right at the end of pit road. He slides into him, damage to the right front. That's going to bring the yellow out. They're going to have to throw the caution to be able to repair those barriers. Kyle Larson just trying so hard to gain ground on Ryan Blaney. He just misjudged it. It's badly damaged his five car as well. I'm sorry, I did not expect him to slow down that much. There you have it. Five slid out to avoid the 12, got into those barrels. Sand and water normally in them. Sand in them, you see this. Look how much he's gaining on him, and he has no choice but to turn right or run into the back of Blaney. He turns right and gets the end of the pit wall. Just so, to way too much speed here. And heavy, heavy damage with these barrels. Yeah, you have to wonder, the pit road speed starts right there past the barrel, or right at the very, uh, just past the barrels, about 10 feet. You have to wonder what, what speed was Blaney doing? That contact to the back of the left rear of the 12 probably is going to help things. It bowed out the quarter or the quarter panel just past, just behind the wheel. That's not a, a good thing aerodynamically, but I'm not sure that Blaney wasn't doing a good job getting on pit road. Maybe the five was actually cooking it on the pit road a little bit too much. Yeah, that, and, and, and Larson said, I just didn't expect him to slow down that much. So Larson didn't feel like he was going too quickly. Once he got to the position where he knew he was in trouble, now he's just locked up and he's no longer about making pit road speed. It's just trying to avoid contact. But we see this, we see the effort by the teams to push the drivers, pit road entry, in lap, out lap, that everybody's being measured in everything that they do. And that was Kyle Larson just trying to push. Now, check out the speed and the pointers. Here we go. Blaney's slowing down right here. So they're looking for pit road speed. I mean, Blaney looks to me that he's over slowing. I mean, he's almost to pit road speed. Yeah, he's five or six below pit road speed. You don't. You would think, I mean, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Pit road speed's 45, but you don't get busted until you go 54.9, right? So you really want to be going, you right, really you want to be to going, 50. yeah, go 50. I'm sorry, you want to be going 50. So the question, Jeff, right, it's not 50 dead at the line. Sometimes, I mean, it's, once again, it's a little bit of an art. You know, sometimes you're maybe 51 over the line and then you slow down extra to give it back. It wasn't egregious by the 12 car, but it's also, I think the five would have made pit road speed. It didn't look like he was going too fast. I well, have to agree with you, Steve. I think that was a little conservative on the 12, but the five was probably going to do, you know, do just fine. He wasn't going to get busted on speeding, but uh, just came in a whole lot more aggressive. Well, even if the five's going over speed, he's got that entire distance to get slowed down because it's, a, it's time over distance. You have X amount of feet to run an average of, four, of 50 by 49.9 miles per hour. So you can come in speed and you just got to get it slowed down. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.